she cooked oh, perfect. Wow. She cooked like, I love cooking with you. But literally, I cannot take you anywhere. Literally. <laughs> Introduce you guys. So this is Ollie. <laughs> this is little man's little man. Say hi. Like, this is Chris's bed, by the way. I'ma send this cat. And I was like, put Ollie on the bed. Ollie, hang on tight, baby. Yeet. Oh, it didn't work. I scared him. Too much air. We're gonna pick up Chris. They made him a sign. By we, I mean Nathaniel. It's really good, right? It says, rehab sucks. exciting stuff um, to tell you also sorry about the footage yesterday I had the camera on a wrong setting and we thought it was another problem and unfortunately some of the shots didn't come out the way I wanted so I will be going back and doing like a little town video because my town literally reminds me of a Hallmark movie and I think it's the cutest thing so I feel like all my friends up in New York would absolutely love my town so anyway um, right now Chris is taking a shower. We're gonna meet Nathaniel in a little bit. He gets out of work at around noon. Nathaniel works in town, so we're gonna meet him. Chris is thinking about getting a tattoo. That could be fun. But we're kind of just trying to do like all the holiday things. I'm trying to get myself really excited for Christmas this year because as much as I miss my family and friends, it is a different kind of Christmas and there's something kind of really exciting about that so I kind of want to take advantage of being more so excited than sad. I feel like ever since I came back from New York I had my little mourning period. Mourning period, wow that just sounds so wrong. My mourning, like being upset about everything, um, you know, the move and stuff like that and honestly it's like from the moment I got engaged, it's like my whole life just started moving incredibly fast. And then it's like I just closed a huge chapter of my life, like living in New York, to graduating and then being married and just like moving. I feel like, you know, as soon as I graduated, like that was my last like season, if you will, like of a TV show or something. And my season like just ended. And I don't know, just. It's a weird analogy, but we're just on to different things in life, and life looks so different. It's really crazy to think and process. And I've been forcing myself to like go to that young adult group that's at our church and stuff, and I think getting plugged into a church was really helpful. Um, but losing my job and not having like any friends to kind of like be here um, with me, you know, it it just was really it was really hard, you know. Like I just kind of was able to think more about the move instead of like be focused on a job so yeah it's been um it's been a little difficult to get adjusted but it's weird at the same time like ever since we took that trip to Florida I feel like it was a very much needed trip it was nice to be around like family and familiar faces and especially just not being around that for so long and having them be having my grandma and my uncles and auntie be like you know a five hour drive away is like really nice. I feel like ever since we went there, saw familiar faces, it was kind of like a nice little mellow lax trip that we needed. Then we hopped over to New York. That was crazy because um, it was back to back trips, New York, and it was really nice to be like with our friends 
and with my friends for a little bit but it was really weird driving around like not being in my own car and not having my own place to go home to of course like I've always had sleepovers with Emily but like this time was definitely different and um, I think it was a much needed reality for me to kind of see that like as much as I'm thinking New York is home from being over here for the past couple months like it's not home anymore and it kind of just like jolted me into waking up being like this is this is home now and this is what life is and you kind of have to just move forward in that you know and then another thing that made it really nice was literally we got home and I got a kitty and he is the cutest thing and it makes me really happy he warms my heart and he is just so freaking precious he's sitting on my bed right now sleeping I don't want to disturb him he looks right there he's just like so precious and cute and i love him so much nathan and i named him ollie and ollie's been a really good like transition back into here because he gave me something to like take care of and take up my time while i've been gone it's a nice like segue and transition to the holiday is very well needed and on top of that i literally just got a job yesterday it has been it's like December now and it's been since September I haven't found a job and okay so really quick story time and then I'll let you guys go because I'm gonna go shower and Chris and I are gonna go into town and see if we can get a little walk-in tattoo thing for him um I found this job on indeed and it's the cutest company ever I feel like it even got better when I got to meet the team and the way it all just went about like I forgot to put my cover letter on indeed and I really wanted them to see my um, resume and stuff like that because I really felt like I'd be a good fit so I decided to drive there since I've had nothing better to do um, this past week and I drove my butt there printed my resume and cover letter and I wanted to meet them in person and get nobody came to the door so what I ended up doing was there was a DoorDash person so I put my resume under the DoorDash order and then I drove away and I was like they have to see it like it's under a McDonald's DoorDash order so yeah that's what happened and then I got a call half hour later had another phone call the following day with another person on the team they invited me in a day ago and then a day later I got an offer for the job and yeah I'm just I'm really happy I know I sound crazy and I know I'm like super chatty and I promise I'm ending like talking right now after this but it has been just so so hard like I said earlier adjusting not having a job or purpose like I feel like I've just been thrown back into like my COVID routine so landing a job just makes me feel like it's another step in starting life here so yeah hello bye bye what? Job so fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, no, nobody else. I want Emily to go first. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, it's like, like I can't, I can't be showed up, bro. Hi, hi. Finish your workout. I'm sorry. No, we're doing. No, we're we're just work. stretching. I kept doing your stretching. Wait, did you not have work today? No. Barefoot landing, that's where we were. Just had a good time, played some games and whatnot. So now we're headed to something in our... ping pong, by the way. Yeah, I suck, but that's another story for another time. You just don't know the rules, it's okay. Whatever. We'll teach you. So we're headed to the river walk. Everybody got scooters. I'm too scared. Ow, babe. You got it? 
It's got a little headlight too. Everybody got scooters, but I'm too scared. So Nathaniel said he'd walk with me because we have a friend. Oh, see, he almost, he almost yeah, died. Yeah, but he's being an idiot. Everybody's got their scooters. I'm just a baby, so. You got your own, Chris? Yeah, that's mine. Was it just like Anthony? Uh-uh. Let's go, Emily. Go catch the idiot. Oh, <laughs> there she goes. That's our girl. Enjoy. All grown up. All grown up. There she goes.